NPR has out an article that will unfortunately change the way that we all look at the ice cream truck forever. Because it turns out that one of the most commonly used ice cream truck songs, you know how they have like the music as they drive by, um, it has insanely racist roots. So let's listen to, first of all, the way it's used now first, and then you'll hear uh, the song as it was from 1916, and it's not pretty. So the guy singing is Harry C. Brown. Yes, it's from Columbia Records in 1916, which is unbelievable that Columbia Records was involved with that kind of stuff. But I mean, like, that's the time in 1916. I was like, people would be like, well, no, of course, that's that's the song we sing. That's our favorite song. So the melody came from the early 19th century song Turkey in the Straw, which dates back to even older and a traditional British song called The Old Rose Tree. That song was used in minstrel shows, along with other casually racist songs. And I don't know if you could hear the lyrics. This is what they said. I'm going to read them to you. Warning! It's the most racist shit you've ever heard. The guy says, You niggers quit throwing them bones and come down and get your ice cream. They say, ice cream? He says, yes, ice cream. Color man, colored man's ice cream. Watermelon! Oh. And then you, I don't, you probably heard a little bit of the chorus. It goes, nigger loves a watermelon, ha, ha, ha. Nigger loves a watermelon, ha, ha, ha. For here, they're made with a half a pound of cool. There's nothing like a watermelon for a hungry coon. Yep, yep, that would appear to be the most racist thing ever. And look, the reason why I I think it's important to share this story with you and to talk about it is that oftentimes what you find today, and it's so widespread and it's unfortunate too, is that virtually all old white conservative men, okay, they all have this uh, this feeling about racism that where they're just like get over it like stuff shut the fuck up like st stop like pull yourself up by your bootstraps stop complaining black people there is no racism or you know what are they talking about yada yada right but what this shows you among many other things cuz look again this is 1916 and you compare that to like in the 1960s early 1960s we still had open segregation okay we need the Civil Rights Act, you know, mid-1960s was when that came around. And then what, like overnight that all got better? Like, oh, we passed the Civil Rights Act and everything is perfect. No, you still had like really old racist white dudes in Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, I mean, you name it, not to pick on those states. They're all over the fucking place. But it's the idea that get over it. There's, you know, there's no, who cares? It, the racism is dead. No, 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 it's not dead. And you really don't comprehend how deeply rooted it is in the culture until you hear the fucking ice cream song and you realize, whoa, the original lyrics were, 
Nigger loves a watermelon, ha ha ha. I mean, the idea of a minstrel show, where white people pretend to be black people and they act like they're stupid. No, 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 you're the stupid ones. You guys are the stupid ones. Do you see what you're doing? You're mocking an entire race of people. Like, they didn't, they didn't view uh, people as individuals. They viewed them as like, oh, what's your skin color? Okay, I know how you are. What's your uh, gender or what's your um, religion? Oh, I know how you are. It was these gross generalizations that they had. And look, the thing is, you see it today, obviously not to this extent, but that mindset continues, you know? And just to give you one example, but I could go on and on. I mean, I've given you too many statistics to the point where you guys are probably like, shut the fuck up already, we get it. Black people and white people use drugs at the same rate, but black people are arrested four times more often. Gee, I wonder what the cause of that is. Well, the cause is their, their skin color. Clearly, law enforcement cracks down harder uh, on them. But just another example is whenever, uh, you know, a black guy tries really hard, works his way up the economic ladder, really makes something of himself, what do uh, older white people always say? Conservatives. Ah, yeah, yeah, affirmative action. Look at him. Lucky. He doesn't deserve to be there. But then, okay, so what if the same guy had decided to say, you know what, fuck it. You know, the, the system is not geared to help me anyway or to do, you know, they're going to look down on me no matter what, so fuck it. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to just go do whatever the fuck I want to do all day and night, and it is what it is. Then what do they say? Ah, oh, moocher, parasite. Yeah, you, look, look, you know how they are. So, wait. If they try hard, you say, fuck them, they're inferior. If they don't try at all, you say, fuck them, they're inferior. So you've set it up so it's a lose-lose. And that's the prism of society that, you know, that they've had to live through for such a long fucking time. And then you got idiots coming along like, ah, racism, it doesn't exist. And uh, I'm going to keep going on and on here because I can't help myself. But so many studies, the eBay study, put a white hand selling an iPod and a black hand selling an iPod. The white hand gets all the hits. That's the only difference is the color of the hand. The white hand gets all the hits. You know, the resume study, put a, a black name on a resume versus a white name. White name gets all the hits. I mean, just so many examples of shit that's just clearly a racist. And people, no, racism doesn't exist. Even the fucking ice cream truck song when it's driving down the street, that it was an incredibly racist song. So the idea that, that it's dead or, you know, just get over it or whatever... No, 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 no. We still have a lot of work to do. There's still a lot of remnants of it. And when you see stuff in history like this, it kind of reminds you and slaps you out of your complacency.